kilichonita ni special kwa sababu uh, kuna tamasha ambayo imepata kuandaliwa lakini kabla tamasha hiyo jameni uh, uh, pengine ku, kuepo ama kuandaliwa ni muhimu kujua now huyu Kestin Mbogo ni nani huyu Kestin ghafla binvu tunamuona ghafla binvu tunamsikia ghafla binvu unashangaa tu yani kuna mrembo amekuja anaitwa Kestin Mbogo yani yani tamasha zake zinashika shika yani unashangaa huyu Kestin Mbogo ni nani ametoka wapi amekuwa amejificha wapi all of a sudden Kestin Mbogo Kestin Mbogo Kestin Mbogo ke... wacha tumjue vizuri wacha tumuelewe poa Kestin Mbogo mm-hmm. karibu sana asante sana amani ya ila na hauko peke yako a uh-uh. <laughs> Uko na kipenzi cha roho. A kipenzi cha sabuni ya roho. Sabuni ya roho. Sukari ya roho yangu. <laughs> Kaka karibu sana. Asante. Eh, Songea kidogo kwa kipa za sauti nikupate katika njia hiyo sawa kabisa. Asante kabisa na shukuru. Okay. Yeah. So far so good? Yeah, so far so good. Okay. Mm. Bwana <laughs> kuna kwa tini Kestin. <laughs> My goodness. Kestin. Yes. Gafla binvu. Mhm. Bwana tumeanza kukusikia. Eh, sasa wow, yani it's uh, it's amazing because Jana there's a friend who posted. <laughs> Aka she just made a post about me and it was fever. Eh. So unajua tulianza ministry 2009 kuimba. All right. Yeah, so Kama band ama worship too. Our okay. worship team like I started writing my music in 2009. Oh. Yeah, so you can see that uh, God tu ni kama amekuwa akinipika so for the right time. Ngoja. Yes. Nikumaanisha kwamba ukiwa katika pengine shule ya msingi shule ya upili uko jihusishi sana na uandishi wa nyimbo hata ulipomaliza uko jihusishi sana. Ah mm-hmm. uh, Nilikuwa of course see you ni hey. join uh, I used to minister there but uh, after high school sasa hapo ndo ningia ministry sasa okay. ministry ya worship like kuingia worship team sasa yes ah uh, na hapo sasa ndo nilisikia mwito wa Mungu na ili niweze kutumikia bwana hey. yes all right mm. na ni wakati upi ambapo uh, my brother Kipto <laughs> uh, mlipata kutana naye ni wakati upi ulikuja kutana na Mr Kipto Let me tell you uh, Amani Aila eh. he ni uh, initangwa ji hadithi eh. ile ambayo itakushtua sana Ningependa kushtuka leo <laughs> Huyu tulijuana uh, December 20 21 Juzi tu Juzi tu Wait now now that is very hey. interesting Now that is very interesting Ikawaje sasa mlipata naje katika mandhari yapi Maana ni Juzi 2023 nyinyi ni husband na wife mlikutana mara ya kwanza 2021 Yes Ilikwaje ku, ku, Si kukutana hey. I'm telling you Amani Aila it, Facebook and Instagram is real He texted me on Instagram and Facebook ah! <laughs> Nilikombe hadithi ah, ni tabu for real for real yes. Mimi nilimuona tu kwa Facebook eh Nikasema huyu mrembo huyu <laughs> ametoka wapi Yes So nikasema huyu lazima nimjue ni mtafute Na nikampata Buda wewe ni mjasiri eh Nikatuma uko na scroll tu kwa Instagram Hata sijui nilikuwa na Facebook kwa kwanza. Facebook eh mm. so hata sijui nilikuwa nafanya nini siku hiyo eh ni ile wanasema una stumble into something yes. so ni ka stumble into a video um and alikuwa naimba alikuwa na lead worship yes then kasema wow this is it this is it mm. worship to ya chat see it in niliku siku hata mkubwa your time no it was those clips we used to do the worship small worship cli- um the overflows mm. we used to do in 2020 yeah. as icc so one of our fa- pastor friends pastor at dana chero aka post to a snippet Mm. Tu leo tunaimba tu kama hapa venye sisi hapa kwa yes. media ya. Yeah. Eh, huyo mtumishi <laughs> wa Mungu anaitwa Patana Chero. Yes. Huyo nitamtafuta ni ni sijui hata nitafanya nini. Sijui kama ange post hiyo video ni kama niliwahi mpata. So uli, ulipona, ulipomuona kwa video. Spirit yako ilisema huyu ndiye mke wangu Mungu alikuambia. Eh, nikasikia tu joto, tu joto hizi. <laughs> Kwanza unajua unaona ni msichana mrembo. Ulimnoki. Eh, msichana mrembo. Ulipenda kile uliona. Ameumbika. Eh? <laughs> sauti tamu nyororo, <laughs> anaabudu bwana. <laughs> ni kila kitu mwanaume. Moyo wangu kaiyuka. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 
naona leo una kamusi eh mistari unayo so moyo kaiuka alafu uka uka pasu namna gari so nika nikamtumia ile wanaita nika inbox nikaandika tuka message kadogo tu uko nayo message eh kester niko nayo hebu hebu toa na ndio naweza ipata si si zamani vile eh nikamtumia message inbox Facebook na Instagram. Yeah. So nikasema kikosa kuona ya Facebook lazima ataona Instagram. So nikaweka double bet. <laughs> wow. Uh, so yeah, um, I think I'll ignore for some time, I think a few days. Then nika follow up. Niko okay, akitafuta hiyo message. Hey. Wewe ulimwambiaje? Nilimweleza tu nikamwambia wewe, you know, nimekuwa nimeona, nimekuona, nimeona, nimeona wewe ni mrembo. Eh, then nikamuuliza sijui kama uko msingo ama uko na mshikaji mm. lakini kama uko msingo ningependa kukujua Kirsten eh hey, yes mm-hmm. umesimama hebu bado utapata hiyo message utapata tu eh umesimama mm-hmm. umeimba mm-hmm. uh, uko na following yako yes uh, mwanaume anajitetea design yes alikuwa wa kwanza kabisa hapana <laughs> in fact Uh, late November uh, I felt like God leading me to be alert mm. that he's bringing my husband. Wow. So Mungu akikwambia alert and unaweza funga macho hivi ya pite. Oh Una, yeah yeah. Kumbe yeah, be yeah, alert yeah. I'm bringing you your husband. Hapo sasa watu saba hivi wakakuja. Okay. Eh I am telling you every funny character you can ever think about and what they wanted they wanted unaka across mtu una, unapata anataka the casting who that casting who is a uh, you know, big huyo, eh, eh. who is big funny enough he had not even seen my news you know mm. he had not seen anything he just saw that clip oh leona to clip mm. eh ile ka clip tu ya nikiimba songs wengi kwa worship yes. kimba tu maybe mshukuruni mungu something mm. like that maybe yeah. with a team uh-huh. and then he was like this is the girl i want So he was not uh, after the casting that is out there the cast he just wanted the girl he just liked the girl and that was the, the pro- problem I was getting kupata mtu ambaye atanipenda mimi kama first a woman before my ministry mm. to the questions i would ask him what if i one one day you know jo tuchukua sabbaticals what if i stop saying yes. will you still love me yes you see now when he came uh, i was i had the other <laughs> many men <laughs> pursuing yes so at as wale ulo wakata ulo wakata walikuwa walikuwa it was not right as in ilikuwa too dramatic people too what when you are um the intentions see za ukweli wanakutaka tu juu wewe ni mrembo na wewe ni casting ya so mkika chini muonge like um uh once once you sit down and talk the tough talk now mm. especially because at our age i will say my age <laughs> uh, on air mm. which was i think i was 31 that time so sikuwa nataka mchezo and in fact by, by the time god was telling me be alert i was okay being single ah nilikuambia mungu kama unatafuta mtu patient to wait on you even if i hit 40 i am okay for real yes ulikuwa sawa mimi nilikuwa sawa because it's better to marry right yes yes it is better to marry right than marry wrong and then you cry later you become depressed i was willing to wait on god without hurrying sasa uh, mr kipto mm. bali na sura na mtu kushika microphone anaimba kuna mengi lazima uzingatie <laughs> wewe uliamwaje kwamba hakika huyu ndiye ndio ni mrembo ndiye ndio anamtumikia Mwenyezi Mungu mm-hmm. lakini kuna zaidi mm-hmm. ya hiyo mm-hmm. uli kata kauli vipi ukasema kwamba ndiye kwanza nilipomuona kama mwanaume sisi tu watu ni watu ambao macho ina inaongea inaongea mm-hmm. mwanzo mm-hmm. kaona msana mrembo akasema huyu anapendeza mm. um, lakini sasa baada ya hiyo wakati tulipoanza kuzungumza sasa wakati tukaanza kujua value system zetu ni gani uh, kuta ku, ku, kujielewa vizuri tunatoka wapi tunaenda wapi eh nikasema huyu she is the right one maana eh maana value system yetu ilikuwa inashikana okay eh maturity yetu ilikuwa 
iko at the same level all right mm-hmm. tunafikiria the same things about the future um atuko na mambo ya kwenda kombo kila mtu alikuwa anajua nini anataka na for me ilikuwa kisa, ilikuwa kitu ambayo ilikuwa inani inani attract mm-hmm. ambaye mwanamke ambaye anajua nini anataka ako focused um ataki mchezo you know mm-hmm. so hizo ni some of the things ambazo kama mwanaume nikikaa hivi nifikirie niseme huyu ni mwanamke ambaye tunaweza na naye mba, mbali mbali mm-hmm. so nikasema basi she is the right one so date ya kwanza ilikuwa aje date ya kwanza unaonana na huyu superstar date ya kwanza ilikuwa awkward kwa sababu uh, atuko tumai patana tumekuwa tu tukizungumza kwa chats yes. kwa simu uh, mimi na ilikuwa, nilikuwa naishi rongai An, yeah. uh, anaishi mara daima askio sasa ilikuwa inanyesha jioni kabisa mm. uh, so mimi ninajua niko na date so nimejipanga nimejipanga nimejitayarisha najua date ni saa ngapi jioni so kazi nimemaliza mapema nimetoka rongai nimetoka mbio mbio bypass na inanyesha so kumbe anafikiria sijui ni nini inaendelea kwa mawazo yake mm. so kumbe anaomba mvua jumvo imenyesha atataniambia tu atanipigia ni ule niko wapi juu kuna nyesha asije nisije oh. sasa hizo mimi niko pale eh, gm yes so yeah. tulipokutana um, ikakuwa very awkward but ndio mara ya kwanza wakati unakutana na mtu ambaye ni stranger. Ebu wewe wana kuiki hii mlio. Hiyo hiyo conversation I see back ilikuwa dede. Mlijipataje maana kama umeongea ndio unaona mara ya kwanza live sasa mko ana kwa ana. You know he's making it look so easy. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You remember now when I looked at uh, his profile I, I saw that this is not the man. I yes. Now was very clear. Mm. Nikamwambia eh hapa hakuna future mimi na we. in fact i have someone in mind for you <laughs> oh during our conversations yes because we would got to know each other what happens ndio nimpatie contact yangu mm. I, I i at least try to reply to all dms because many people give their lives to jesus on my dms i have many people asking for help mentorship nini nini so that's one of the things i try to so nikona many text hiyo text ndatafuta tu he was very cordial oh eh? my Uh, have you given thought to my note you know kizungu hapo kaingiza mngwana sana au wengine ni hi babe hi cute school fees itumika vizuri my goodness hey. it was different so i was like that, at that time i was willing to to try it out kuangalia of course unaenda unaangalia profile yake unaona ai oh the 2012 20 he still god 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 oh. you know Oh, unaenda nini unamtafuta okay. inaitwa consistent yeah. yes mm. so i'm like hmm, wow. it's okay god said i be a lot anyway there will be no harm nimtoe huku juu sasa my instagram account is managed also because ah, let me just remove him from the instagram account let me just give him my number it will not hurt you i have seen he's, he's just a simple man so with that in mind yo nikamwambia tukaanza conversation who are you nini nini so this is what i'm doing in ministry But bado nilimwambia me and you we are not meant to be. <laughs> I'm not your type. I in fact I have someone in mind right now I'm not in the mindset to get married. I'm concentrating on ministry. Aka push tu. So after a few weeks I can ask out. Kaniambia like twende out. Mm. Nikamwambia come with zero expectations. Please. Si <laughs> <laughs> No, just come we are meeting as friends but come with zero. Wow expectations aga could just so i was like i don't want to go to this thing but let me just try you never know it's just going out and you and, 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 and my mom kept on telling una jifungia sana wewe uchukwangi dates no wonder you're single i'm like okay i've seen he's, he's someone reliable and the man of god you know under him there's people i know he's read he's someone with a testimony yeah. consistent testimony i'm like hmm, let me give him a chance i think the first three hours nilikuwa tu namwambia by the way hakuwezi kuwa mimi nimekuja tu hapa ndio tu niku ndio tu kwetu friends you know but just no zero expectations me i'm not ready i don't think me and you <laughs> oh lord jamaa unavuta tu mzaje eh. unazipokea tu mimi kwa roho yangu najua eh. hii tu itapita eh. Eh. hii tu ni walls tu anaweka yes lakini which pia ni poa kwa which pia ni poa kwa sababu sisi tunajipeleka tu unataka mtu ambaye you know hata 
ni kama tu uh, ako desperate yeah, najua yeah. so ile resistance it yeah. worked mm. it worked but uh, kitu ambacho nilipenda zaidi yeah. ni kwamba kuna vile alikuwa na focus about purpose yake yeah. uh, especially when it comes to ministry mm. uh, alikuwa na insist sana ya kwamba ministry yake ni kitu ambacho ameiweka ameiweka kwa roho kabisa na ataishikilia kabisa mm. Uh, na kwamba uh, nia yake ni kwamba ata fulfill your purpose na ali insist that you do the most important thing for her okay so hiyo nikajua hapa ni kuna mtu ambaye ako very focused yeah. kwa mambo ambazo things that are dear to her okay. so ako na value system on even things around purpose oh, all right so hili ni kitu ambaye nikasema hapa si, si, si ngoki okay <laughs> na na kesti mm. uh, okay, mbapo una resist hivyo acha nijue mm. sometimes tunakuwa na imaginary image about who your ideal person should look like should yes. be should sound so <laughs> so yako uli 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 bana jaji amani <laughs> so my of course uh, after now maturing and getting to know that there are things that are important yeah. in marriage or in a relationship that, more than others nika come up with three like nikambia Mungu tu nataka mtu ambaye anakupenda sana. Eh. Wacha na Christian kwa CV. Relationship with you. And someone who will love me genuinely to kunipenda tu. Mm. Na ata support ministry yangu. I just said three things. But in the back of my mind you know you're looking for a tall <laughs> Mimi na linda benda ma ma mjama hapo kwa G2 G2 no that's what i i thought i liked eh. you know big tall eh. men you know so you say hey. dark <laughs> dark so i told that kind of actually i really liked dark eh. dark tall and big i think i really like big men uh uh-huh. hey sasa kukuja nikaangalia tu niko na my husband is one gb <laughs> 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 he's not he's not he's taller than me yes. and then he's light nikasema yeah. hapa ai so you see now those three three hours in in the back of my mind i was still like he's he's not visually what i was looking for as much as he's handsome he's yes. not hmm. but uh pia naona ni kama ni kama pia i work Yeah. You see now I spent three hours just talking 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 and then I gave up. I nikanyamaza nikampatia a chance to speak. And that was it. That is a man. I'm telling you this man this man <laughs> loves the Lord. This man loves acha na mimi ningependa kufika levo yake ya commitment. My commitment to God. Yes. Maybe I think I'm going to say something <laughs> about you. I hope you'll allow me to It's say okay. that. Okay. This man is a faithful tither. Wow. This man has receipts from Sidi Wichia like this and he does not give like this. He gives anakuangana uh, uh, evidence record. records. Mimi Mungu ananisaidia. Yes, I tithe but not as consistent. Consistent and value system yake ni solid. He's a prayerful man. He prays. He reads the word he when he starts to just speak about the word what he read there are revelations around it yes i'm telling you i admire him so when i just give him a chance to speak i'm like this is exactly this is exactly what i asked from god and more and more he's so kind he will prefer everyone else above us he's generous he loves the lord kesten <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you he I honor you I respect you My goodness Hi Kaka kusikia your feedback wewe tunapewa design hiyo una feel namna gani Nina feel with unajua mimi niko na huwa nimekuwa na niko na challenge ya ku accept no. compliments. Mm-hmm. So a lot of times il, ilikuwa struggle sana kwangu ku mm-hmm. accept compliments. Mimi hata nikifanya kitu kizuri hata no. sitaki kuambiwa asante. Mimi nataka ni ile wanasema tenda wema nenda no. zako. Mm-hmm. So wakati yeye yeah, sasa anaanza kunipatia compliments. Ai, hii ni strange kwangu because mm-hmm. I'm not used to that. Mm-hmm. Ni kama drama. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> kwa sababu hata mimi kuna 
kuna notes ama cards nimepewa na marafiki like kuna kadi sijaifungua mpaka leo kwa sababu na nilipewa almost like six years ago eh. kwa sababu sijui sasa huyu atasema anaweza kunasema kitu kizuri but mimi sijui ku receive compliments uja, uja, but, uja, sijazoea 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 na nikaelewa ulivokuwa eh sasa unajua umelelewa wewe tu uko Taliban eh. uko kivi yako huko hiyo file unajua kitu kama hiyo oh my uh, so ku, kupatana na yeye sasa ni mtu ambaye ana ana, ana his vocal mm. talk as it is yeah. mm. uh, anataka tu kukwambia you are nice you are kind you are good i mean i'm like hey. amezoea kusifu Mungu so hey. kwake msifu <laughs> sisi <laughs> hey. but sasa haya kiniambia hizo vitu sasa njoo moyo wangu sasa kuna vile tu kwa roho tu ninasikia hey ni kizuri lakini ni strange kwa sababu sijaizoea mm. sijaizoea mm. but yeah nina ninazipokea mm. nikishukuru mm. yeah wow yeah, kirsten so bogo yeah. wewe well, Angalia Kirsten. Mm-hmm. Kuna warembo wako single mpaka saa hizi because wako na the are their ideal kind of person. Ah uh, vinyo mmesema tu awe tall designer, mm-hmm. awe light designer, awe mm-hmm. dark designer, awe mnene, awe na figure flani. Ah mm-hmm. uh, bado nawaambiaje? Hey hi, what I can tell you is that drop all those and, and, and ask God to give you a man for you. Mm-hmm. Because uh, in Genesis it says Um, and God created the man and he put the man in the garden mm. alimweka kwenye eden mm. attend kwa hivyo Mungu alishapatia huyu mwanaume assignment purpose hakuwa tu amengedhia mm. alikuwa in his purpose okay mm. and uh, once he did this the bible says and it is what you want to it is not good for a man no The Bible inatoa huyo the man who the man he was given the, the was given to tend and then the Bible says and it was and God looked and it was not good for the man that man up there to oh. be single not mm. just any man mm. but the man with the assignment up there the man who is who dwells in the presence of God he's in Eden he understands the relationship between God and man that man is the one who is not meant to be alone and that's why such a man needs a suitable helper So that man first of all hizo ni hizo vitu unafaa kuangalia nilikuwa nimeka hiyo mahali naangalia is this the kind of man is he in the presence of god can i look up to him as a priest in the house can this man even pray unajua i'd get men telling me you know i'm looking for a prayerful woman na mimi nawaambia hata mimi i'm looking for a prayerful man eh because You, you can be in church you're trusting god but you you get lured away unavutwa mbali na mtu ambaye hapendi mungu ama ako hivi hivi 50-50 mm-hmm. because anaona wewe salvation yake iko kwako you know you're now doing missionary dating yes you're trying to save someone from their sins yet you're not Jesus mm. no do not be unequally yoked this man the man that is not meant to be single that needs a suitable helper is the man with an assignment the man who's hard working the man who is in the presence of God wow. the man who hears God yes Aka, if you're faithful to God he will give you such a man. But ukicheza cheza hapa there are many people who are divorcing even after two months. Oh yeah. Because of just you made choi nini wanaita kwa premarital counseling walita eros. Eros. Mm. Yeah, eros ile yenye ya goosebumps. Oh. Una feel to I, mean, yeah. I like him, he holds my hands. I have butterflies. You need to move past the butterfly stage. Because it's your life before we you are commit. talking. Before you commit, talk. Mm. Before mm. before Oh, we committed before I even said yes to him on that first date I asked him what do you th- think of who and more than you Ali said Ali said money is not an issue money is not a big deal to him and you know those were tested I namwangalia hii naona ako generous huku na huku yani he's even people sometimes can even misuse him because of his generosity okay inajua this is not a man who is who money is his master so you see because me on the other side I'm like that I was looking for one who if God told us to sell everything and give it to us to that he and always so that unieka tu namuuliza tu kuna mwingine aliniambia wewe pata hiyo pesa kwanza and then sasa tutaongea ah. <laughs> and i know my ministry is growing in a way that God will entrust us with a lot yes so it, money cannot be the the source of problems in our in our family yes it can only be we are custodians of this thing yes for ministry purposes. 
Wow. Sio ndio maswali niliuliza. What do you think of children? Mm. What do you think of uh, in-laws and, uh, and family? Mm. Uh, what are your value system about uh, what else did I ask? Hakuna ile muli hakuna ile muli disagree kabisa. Hakuna? Kunazo. Tuli disagree. Nini <laughs> msili? <laughs> Kuna wakati ameniuliza uh, anapenda vitu vizuri. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I just to me example. <laughs> But to me disagree. Nataka nataka ushike hiyo point. Okay, tusisahau hiyo point. Mwake tayari mwana kipenga ameshe ya studio ni. Usi usisahau hiyo point. Bonye na kidudi hapo hapo. Ah uh, tu tunduso mwana kipenga tupashe mawili matatu tukirudi. Uh, kumka pia tukirudi mwana mkubwa. Tesi Mbogo atakuwa na deliver song moja pa ya kisa. Kama unavyojua tutae live. Eh? Bana weekend imeanza mapema ama namna gani. Sicheze mbali. Sasa imetimia saa tisa kamili za mchana. Listen and live. Survival is breaking out.
Barabara kabisa uh, tunaenda uh, live uh, na Kestin uh, Mbogo Bilaka. Uh, Kestin anasema yuko tayari kufanya mambo yake. Uh, I want you to put your hands together ladies and gentlemen. It is time. Put your hands together for one Kestin Mbogo. Tuna kazi Kestin. Kamera yako hiyo. All right, let's do this.
Tere Javeri, Komara Jigire, Big You Are The Biggest, Strong You Are The Strongest. Ay, 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 my goodness, Kali Sana, we, we, Nikazi. Yopate kibao kama hichi, Kesti. Mm-hmm. Umekitunga na mnagani. Hihi, kikibao. Eh. Wehema? Amazing. Wehema kidogo? Amazing. Wow. So you remember I mentioned that my songwriting imekuwa a process. Yes. Of year after year after year after year. But this particular song, I was given this song um in 2021. Because, <laughs> yes, <laughs> because that's when I got to record this music. It was recording. We did 14 songs. Okay. Yeah, 14 songs like a, a live recording kabisa. Hiyo mm. yote ni live kabisa. Okay. So, um kila song iko na process yake and as I have written on my social media, anytime I meet with God. I think I of me to receive from him ni naimba tu ananipatia okay. nyimbo. Nyimbo kama nimepakwa unaona naangalia kwa I'm just reading Psalms 92 if you have anointed my head mm. uh, 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 uh fresh with fresh oil you know you put up my head like the head of, head of a unicorn. So mm. nikashanga unicorn ni nini? Yes. Nikaangalia tena bwana anasema pembe Yeah, yeah. 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 so I, i was trying to get to understand what a unicorn is because now our uh, tvs have shown as unicorns are yes. weird yeah. things yeah. 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 magical farasi yeah. so i was i was trying to get it in swahili that's when i got wow the entire song of nime pa kwa mafuta mabichi literally yeah. it sounds 92 so when i felt like god was telling me look for other verses where where ina inaingiana the same thing with worthy of my praise i got that first part as i was just, uh, listening to god and spending time with him hizo zingine tu zinaingiana that is how i write my music i don't come with a tune the song comes vile ambavyo ilivyo so ni kupata producer by pia ataitoa vile ambavyo ilivyo lakini sasa mimi nili nilijua uh, that I am I tried I've tried <laughs> studio album. Mm. And when I was he was so shocked. It has like five, six songs. <laughs> oh. Eh, hey, but I knew I was not meant to do studio. Okay. I knew live music was my it's like a ministering. That's mm. why most of my songs are seven minutes, ten minutes, twelve minutes mm. because I pour my heart out because I'm just ministering. I'm not singing with a in a hudumu. Yeah. yeah. Kuna timeline inakubana. Uh, Ah. Okay. Uh, 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 Anasikia nyimbo zako sana nyumbani. Sana. Zina mfanya niseme baby mm-hmm. analia sana. Oh, <laughs> he's so shy. But he cannot see. Naona no, anavyokuangalia. Huyu <laughs> <laughs> ni maombi ile sauti yake lakini kuimba. Hivi <laughs> <laughs> bibu jaribu imba hapo. Kuimba. 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 Kuna mtoto akae kwa leni kabla kuendelea kuna kitu kuna sema kuna wakati ambapo mko mna disagree disagree um, to, especially mostly around uh, tulikuwa na challenges around communication okay yeah. you see kwa kwa relationship communication ni kitu ya muhimu sana eh, and so kiti. kama kama communication iko na shida mm kuna lot of areas of potential conflict. Mm. So for me uh, sikuwa sikuwa communicate and mzuri. So kutulikuwa na a lot of challenges a lot of kugoma kugogana So a lot of uh, challenges that zilikuwa around communication lakini tuli flani I'm trying to stand kwa kwa date Uh, kanisa ambayo uh, kesi na nashiriki inaitwa mm. ICC Mara mm. kuna program inaitwa relationships enrichment groups okay 
So tuka join your program na ikatusaidia sana ku walk through issues around communication and conflict right. resolution. So hiyo ilikuwa a big challenge for us. Mm. Lakini tuka navigate tu. Mm. So ilikuwa one of the areas of potential conflict. All right. Sana. Walked about for some on a date officially. Mm. How does a Christian dating look like? Manake huyu ni uh, mrembo spiritual <laughs> minister wepe umeshika moyo hiyo. So hebu tupentie picture kidogo. Uh, 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 you know uh, christian dating uh, mm. kwa nini kwa nini ilikuwa inakaa namna gani so uh, kwanza kabisa tuliamua kwamba uh, wakati tuna date na hata moving into a marriage relationship tukasema ya kwamba kitu ya kwanza mtakambe zaidi ni mm. so the first thing that tulifanya wakati tulianza ku date tulianza ku tulienda tuka watembelea uh, past sweat kwaeleza mimi nikamweleza pasta wangu ya kwamba nina date huyu msichana. Mm-hmm. Tukaenda kwa pasta wake tukamweleza tuna date. Then tukaenda kwa another bishop ambaye amekuwa alimle kumweleza ya kwamba ifanye hivi kwa sababu tulitaka accountability. Okay. Kwa sababu I think uh, bila ya accountability kuna uwezekano sana ya kwamba mnaweza potea njiani. No. But wakati unajua kwamba kuna accountability inawaweka on toes. So Christian dating inaanza from that place. Sio mm. tu kwamba mnapendana nini nini. No. Lazima kuwe na level of accountability ya kwamba kuna watu ambao mnawaheshimu. Um, okay. Kuna watu ambao mko willing to submit relationship mm. yenu to them okay. for that accountability. Mm. Ili kwa relationship ni watu ambao mnaweza and then mm-hmm. wasaidie. Yeah. Okay. So I think for us ilikuwa one of the first things tulifanya na tukasema ya kwamba tutawaheshimu pia wazazi wetu. Mm-hmm. So atukutaka ku date uh, because sisi tuli, tulijua kwamba hii dating relationship ita, itaenda into, into marriage. Hiyo yeah. hiyo ilikuwa very from clear the word from go. the word, from the word go. go yeah. All right. So atukuwa na room ya kusema tujaribu kiwezekana ni sawa na no, sisi tulijua kwamba hii Hakuna time hakuna time hakuna time ilifika pengine muliona uh, wait a minute maybe <laughs> ni confirm na Mungu kama kweli ndiye hakuna but, time but ni kwanza... by the time tulikuwa hiyo place hakuna mm. confirmation ya Mungu tulikuwa tumeipata before hata we started like officially oh, dating okay like i remember that that i think second date is like you know you're going to be my wife is it the first actually it was the first phone con- yeah The first, the first date I yeah. laughed in Java nikaingia chini ya meza ile me your okay. wife you're okay. dreaming okay. please okay. like leave your you know at easy my expectations go nazo nazo so after some time i remember i had such a heavy confirmation i really struggled with the peace that comes with the right person do mm. all my life nimekuwa like that's not your person kuna ile tu kitu ya Today you experience your peace with someone else because you only experience it to the person that God has put for you has kept aside for you. Yes. So hizi zingine nasikia tu stand up that's not your man. Mimi nakaa tu hapo. Nini you know those people you've dated and mm. you know that God literally told you this is not the person. So when I felt peace I struggled with it. So towards the end of the of last years January fasting nikamwambia Mungu watu wakiambia revival mimi nililala chini nikamwambia Mungu nionyeshe Mm. Ni shetani mkanya kunda ni wimbo. Yes. <laughs> I need to know what, why is he so okay? He's not perfect like, but in my heart I have so much peace. I know this is a person why. It was strange to me. Kona mm. kaniambia stop, stop looking for mistakes where there are none. This is your husband. Mm-hmm. And that is how we we began our journey mm. immediately uh, he asked me out the next day in fact after that prayer okay. mm. and him he knew I was his wife we began and our main aim even in this generation was to mm. as he said was mm. to honor god okay with our bodies yeah. and our parents sasa kama najua pengine mrembo inaweza kuwa rais mwanaume hakuna time kidogo kwanza hata nia alikuwa mgumu sana yeah. <laughs> i think he really honors god kwamba lazima u, you pray
Behold, here I stand by the well of water, and the daughters of the men of the city are coming out to draw water. Now, let it be that the young woman to whom I say, Please, let down your pitcher that I may drink, and she says, Drink, and I will also give your camels a drink. Let her be the one you have appointed for your servant Isaac. Mm. prayer, prayer scripture yango wakati nilikuwa naomba for for a wife yes wow ikakuwa ya kwamba nikapata hiyo uh, understanding ya kwamba na biblia imesema that riches you know wealth and riches can be inherited from parents but a prudent wife comes from the from lord <laughs> yeah so mimi nilichukua hii scripture nikaanza kuomba so nikasema tu if i say to her this and this and this and she says yes let her be the one you've appointed for me because sikuwa nime sikuwa nime nilikuwa nimechoka kweli place ni mimi ninatafuta wangu bodi umekuwa at broken mara hey, hey, mimi <laughs> nimepita <laughs> wilderness is real oh yeah uh, but um i think your place your prayer cannot be understated hey. you ni lazima kwa sababu bila inasema kwamba your word is a lamp to my feet mm. and a light to my path mm. Mm. Meaning that lazima Mungu akuongoze. Hii hmm. tu si mambo ya macho peke yake ya kuona kwamba kuna msichana mrembo, anapendeza, ni mzuri. No. Liwe kuwe na a deeper conviction beyond that. Yes. Wow. So na I think for us really that was really uh, something that was our beginning point. Okay. So that wakati tulifika hii place Mungu alikuwa ashatupatia confirmation. Okay. Mimi nilikuwa ninajua ni huyu. Hata tukikosana Yeye na nashukuru kwamba kitu mmoja kuna mtu anasema sauti haiko poa please clarify kama sauti iko poa iko chini ama iko na distortion uh, wale ambao wanasema kwamba sound check haiko sawa uh, upande wenu nitaomba kidogo mpate okay. kuongeza sauti Oh, hapa kwamba. hapa chini eh hapana no, katika, oh, katika kuongea oh katika kuongea tutaongeza sauti eh itakuwa mm. sawa mm. so hata hani muliomba hapana 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 amani aila you can love god this deep eh. and uh, still be very we are two very romantic people by okay. the way all right I think his love language is touch. Ana kanga tu akinishi.
Mungu aitwe Mungu. Cha Mungu aitwe Mungu. Mm. Angalia kazi ya Mungu. Angalia kazi ya Mungu. Hakika <laughs> inap, inapendeza tena sana. Mm. So, tayari watu wanasema no sound. Sielewi kinachoendelea ni nini? Why there is no sound? I do not understand. Uh, sema sauti ya kuna. Ay 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 ay. Sijui. Sijui issue iko wapi? There is a red light here. Uh, there should be a red light here. Okay, yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's back. Thank you. Pole 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 Okay. Na so tayari mko katika ndoa lakini hapa huduma inatoa wito. Ah yes. uh, keep keep toa. Keep toa. Yes. Mm. yes. Uh, Mbali na kumsupport kimziki wewe unajihusisha na nini? Ah. Uh, hmm. So mimi nimesomea uh, hesabu accounting. Uh, okay. So nimefanya CPA, uh, nimefanya grad, undergraduate. Uh, so kwa sasa ninafanya kazi na okay. Ma, kwa hiyo area tu ya sabu. Oh. Yeah. Uwe nasemekana account friends bana. They're not romantic. Figures. Pesa. Munazuia. I talk you vivi. Uwe uh, utasema. Uwe so, utasema. Wacha tu niseme hey. kwa sababu ina tuhu, ina nihusu. Kwa hey. sabu. Lakini unijua ikifika kwa ndoa. Hey. Eh, kuna vile lazima ulegeze mkono. <laughs> uh-huh. eh, eh, ya kwamba uh, uh, your wife should not should should know what is in your wallet. Yeah. Like oh. wallet, lazima when access to wallet yangu any time, mm. you know. Mm. And vice versa. So sisi mambo ya pesa unajua uh, pesa now again it's not something that uh, you hold on to. Yes. Because I think with proper understanding of money mm and what money is meant for as a man it's not something that you hold on to to say that ah ni kama unapata bibi yako kama queen no those is apana i think i think it's an area that um na nafanya na, na kwamba ni one of the biggest challenges you know area of challenges kwa relationships and even marriage oh, okay uh, area, yes, area finances lakini wa, ile tulifunzwa kwa premarital classes ni kwa money should be open mm-hmm. lazima anajua ni nini pesa ngapi ninapata najua pesa ngapi anapata ako na access to my bank accounts in fact hata tuko na like accounts yetu sasa tunazimage pamoja mm-hmm. so hakuna pesa yangu hakuna pesa yake mm-hmm. ni pesa yetu Alright. so akitaka kununua chochote ni pesa yetu Okay. Of course sasa tumeweka you know tumeweka budgets na nini yeah. na nini kila mm-hmm. kitu mm-hmm. so ni kitu ambaye ni open hakuna hakuna yeah. feature yeah okay. inasaidia kwa mtu inasaidia inasaidia na, sana pesa mm, mm, inasaidia sana so tuko kwa huduma mm. uh, Kirsten mm-hmm. unatupeleka wapi na mziki vision yako kimziki unatupeleka wapi na mziki ah oh, wow aha mziki mm. uh, tunaenda wapi you know one of the things that where i am <laughs> oh, but hey my mom my mom 
you know we are not Meru's, we are Embu's. So my okay. mom used to insist, let's not talk the language that you need to, because now at I am going to learn English and I'm going to buy you books. So we started reading books. <laughs> as wow. early as we could read we had books mm. so you know books open up your mind and you're able mm. to read when you listen to some uh, she'd make us listen to english music a lot mm. so and that's how you know god helped us to polish our nini our <laughs> our language maybe alikuwa anaona kule ambapo tunaenda yes so uh growing up like that i'd receive prophecies and especially from my man of god back in meru there's a time aliniambia you know you Uh, even Sinach, I don't say it like mm. she compared me to Sinach and I really laughed. Uh, like your wow. music, you're going to be a household. I have those books because anytime a prophet would come and you know that's not even a church at your prophet. God would just use him in a way to just call us out and speak to us. Mm. Word of knowledge. Then we would write them down. Mm. So I have those books where God would say I'll become what I'll become what but the decisions I make will matter mm. so that's why I've been always careful with the decisions I make the company I make the person I date you know so I'm living in where God spoke okay and I know where he's taking me is even higher because I'm not yet there All my right. assignment is to release the sound that I get from the throne into my heart to my mouth to the people. Okay. Mm. Yes. Na baadhi ya wasanii ungependa sana kufanya nao kama kila nani. Wow. I really wow. Okay. Wow, ni nani sasa? Yeah man, you're like the people you look to see. Yes, in Nache, I really love seen. You know what happened is that Bishop Karyoki back in Meru used to even have this idea sana hii accent. Yeah. Alikuwa na party ya CD Sidiza Sidiza Hill songs. Mm. Kiza hiyo song na nataka uimbe hivyo Sunday. And then now she he'd give us um how I met Sina it was in 2009. Like I didn't even see her, I had her. So he gave me a CD with Pastor Chris preaching. Anambia look for the woman singing. There is a lady singing a certain song and that's the song I want you to sing it. So I had oh. to listen to the entire song. Okay. <laughs> look for the woman singing in there because that's a CD and then sing that song rewind sing rewind and that's how i how i met sinach okay. i knew her way back so she's one of the people that have really encouraged me even her journey i just came to love her not because she she was famous at that time she was a worship leader at that hey. time that's how i got to know her imagine wow. so i really look up to her and people like cici winans you know women who have not been hawaja ekwa na age unajua hapa kuna mtu aliniambia unajua ukifika 40 unaacha kuimba imba mm. anaona hii kuimba imba ni kurukaruka but yeah. it's ministry that an age hi-fi kuku keep away from you know yes. doing so- na wao hapa manake leo jioni hata kabla kutupatia devotion mm. mbona nadhani ni muhimu Kestin mm-hmm. watu waache shughuli zao mm-hmm. watu waende nyumbani kuchelewa mm-hmm. kwa sababu ya uweponi uweponi yes. which is uh, on friday e, evening songea kidogo tupaza sauti wow. manake ni muhimu hmm. uweponi is a is a concert Uh, a worship experience by um, Hope TV, Hope Media, mm. that is uh, happening.
so and something about what were created yes. so imagine dwelling in that when you praise him if you stand before maybe the president and tell him you're great yeah. you're mighty hapo unaweza chapa milioni moja hapo ya kukusukuma maisha so imagine what about god if you just shower him with worship and you know when when you lift him up he comes down so come let's worship together okay please eat okay. akila mtu jirani na kila mtu wengine question mm. tupatie ushuhuda wako mmoja wa kitu ambacho kimefanyika ukiwa una unatumika katika wepo wa bwana ukiwa unaimba kitu na yule umeimba umeimba vizuri mm. lakini kuna jambo la kimuujiza pengine lishawahi tokea mm, mingi sana tana tafuta ni gani nitasema so i i studied in ku and i keep on giving this um uh testimony uh ilifika mahali of course nikapata nikapata um, scholarship from the then no. vice chancellor mugenda mm. so i got it in diploma there's something i used to do in i used to sing everywhere so ni kama approach ngambia i used to call her mom mama i don't have school fees so these are the times sasa from diploma into degree nikamwambia si na school fees ulini saidia diploma saa hii mimi degree sitaweza to 60000 per term that was too high mm. so what happened is that hiyo ilikuwa 2015 when when she was leaving transitioning so something happened that i think one of the letters because she give a scholarship or something or if she told you to promise to something you'd write a letter mm. an official letter telling her thank you for giving me this nini nini on this date on this date for official purposes so that now your process is endly that letter got misplaced i was joining my degree i'm telling you and that is how that semester i called off i tried reaching out to her she tell me would remind me when do you have a copy of the letter you know it was an on and the letter i even said it even with my hand outside the office because i couldn't see yeah. i gave up so nikachukua hiyo pesa ndikwa na because she told me she do half i do half so i had my 30000 to get nikaenda nikachukua a room somewhere in uh, Clewax bought a mattress nikachangiwa <laughs> vita nini nikachangiwa <laughs> beddings na the then sounds of worship vikombe siku hata na singe afford kikombe and then i i took a passport because i knew here god Is, kama kama hii imeshindikana then ananipeleka nje. Hakuna <laughs> <laughs> kwingine naenda. <laughs> It can only get better. <laughs> you know when the Bible says when you when my mother forsake me the Lord will take me up. So me I need to take up. It was not a take down. Yes. I prepared myself, put my documents in order. Now I used to worship a lot. I'd sing a lot. I'd sing, I'd just sing you are worthy, worthy mm. of my praise. You are the most high. for hours. I'd just put this music and worship. Mm. I'm telling you I'll never forget that I'd put the music and worship, worship and worship and I kept worshiping and there was so much peace in my heart as much as I used to cry a lot but that's I think the season I worshiped the most. Nilikuwa tunaweka music hivi. Nina lala chini na worship na worship too. I I just tell him you are you are amazing. You are never changing. And that is in the season I wrote a hardy a hard is a ke who you yesu zitatimia who you yesu si mwana damu ndicho kibaa yes a hard mhm hebu tuimbe na mhm
akisema jameni akihili yes. anatenda imagine in that season as i'm doing this eh. god is telling me sing this ahadi za zake it's like i'm telling people through me yet i'm going through that tough season oh yeah so i sang a lot i wrote so many songs and this is one of the songs imagine uko pale ambapo akukai ahadi kama ina tendeka yes. lakini Mungu anakupatia wimbo wa ahadi zake hakuna dalili yoyote dalili hamna imagine and uh, that was in february and uh, i think much now when when uh, she was transitioning she called everyone in the university akaika like a, a living party mm. at the amphitheater very big like over 5000 people as she was finishing unaona vile ambavyo unafanya makaratasi hivi no. unasema ah thank you you've been so good akasema and there is mukami no one calls me mukami imani oh, yeah, amani yeah. Yeah. where is that girl that plays guitar because i used to play guitar a All lot right. and then she points at uh, my my school of uh, dean school of music no dr yugi cast in because no they came to tell me all that 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 girl called mukami where is she where is she call her mimi nilipigiwa kwa mkutano everything stopped <laughs> she was like she's not around here tell her i have given her full scholarship oh. that was on a wednesday i'll never forget so me i'm finding calls missed calls eh? in my season i'm like mm. nini napata all these people from ku university calling me you know kumbe mwenyeambia ni harakisha because her last day is friday so everything has to be done on thursday got a car wakanipeleka from this department to this department signed everything yani my school is on taken care of my friend my friend you know uh, used to tell god let the holy spirit remind her yes she called me by a name you know she kept saying that i look like her daughter it was very special to her like i look like her daughter eh. so she called me by my, a name that no one hakuna mtu ananitanga na hiyo jina Ata see to me. And I've said it on national oh. radio. <laughs> this Mukami, I'm telling you it was like drama. Yes. And this is one of the testimonies. Ni liko tunaenda KU na sign in to units. Uh-huh. My school fees paid over 450. Okay. 1000. God is good. Ha, God My is brother. Good. In two minutes una 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 neno Mungu ameweka kwa moyo wako. So nitasema to something we were talking uh, discussing last night with, mm. with, with my wife um I'll just read a scripture mm-hmm. uh, in Isaiah 7 verse number uh 9 the last part of it um inasema that if you will not believe surely you shall not be established mm. if you will not believe mm. surely you shall not be established Now in another place also God says that believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. So ningependa tu kusema ya kwamba vile tu David alisema that I would have lost heart unless I had believed yeah. that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Mm. So ina maanisha ya kwamba kitu cha muhimu sana ni kuamini yeah. to believe that God is able. Una usingoje dalili? na usingoje dalili kuona ya kwamba inatendeka kama hata inaweza kuwa hakuna dalili mm-hmm. but ikasema ya kwamba if you can't believe hata naye Mungu mikono yake ime imefungwa imefungwa oh my so yeah. ningependa tu ku kutia moyo watu ya mm-hmm. kwamba chile ha uko kwa sasa situations are temporary no. circumstances are temporary mm-hmm. but scripture inatuambia kwamba the word of god is eternal Amen. that if we are able to stand with the word of god mm. depend i mean um whether circumstances are good or not mm. whether they are favorable or not the word of god hadi zake ni za milele amen na mungu ni muamini amen na atatenda amen amewahi tenda kambo yes. anatenda na atatenda na mungu ni mungu wa miujiza Amen. Mm. He's not stopped performing miracles. He's, He's still a miracle working, working God. God. Oh, so whichever situation that somebody is in, all our listeners, everybody wherever you are, whatever situation you're going through, we encourage you and to speak the word of God over God is able. Amen. God do it. Amen. Amen. Ni kesho. Kesho. Saa kumi na moja. Saa 11 jioni. Okay. Yes. Mpaka saa 3 ya usiku. Mpaka saa 3. Imagine just basking in the presence of God. Ule eh, mm-hmm. mbali na wewe kuongoza mm-hmm. uh, tu na nani. 
I'm going to have a very good brother, uh, Peter Watako. Wow, uh-huh. that one you will have to dance. Please come, do not come with heels, come with dancing shoes. Mm. Ah, that guy. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> that guy is the guy. Hey, <laughs> yes. hey. mm. uh-huh. mm. So, mtu mta, kama naiba pamoja ama kila mtu ana session yake? Kila mtu ana session yake. All right. Yes. All right. Yeah. Ningependa kuona collab yenu wewe na yeye. Ah, yeah. It's it's, uh, I hope like he's listening to. Like it's a pressure. <laughs> oh, he's amazing. It would be an honor to yes. do it with him, yeah. Itakuwa poa tena sana. Nataka tuje madukani. Ah, tukirudi mm. tutaweza kumalizia na ahadi. Okay. Ndio? Mm. Okay. Tule madukani tim. Your attention please. We're flying out for a Bila shaka mwana timkubwa watu kutu natamatisha kipindi kama pengine nisome jube bitu Kunani anasema ya pamani How wish to come out the godly In a god ordained way and I can tell you for free covenant he took and must honor God's grace is what I am living on tell these people to walk with young ones and teach them the ways of God mm-hmm. wow I'll really be praying for you so that uh, you know when the Bible says living husband you continually yeah. Yeah. so I will pray that uh, God will just give you a lot of peace mm-hmm that uh, you will just enjoy peace and the joy of salvation mm. yeah the joy of salvation yeah the joy of, because there is not happiness that joy of just being saved mm. yeah okay kestin mm. niko na hiyo season hata uh, i'm there and i had god correctly god brought him he brought him i had that same message but differently na amekuja ako via facebook eh mm mpatie chance uh, but remember walk with people mm. i don't think relationships are meant to be walked alone mm. you you don't know everything as much as love can make you feel like you know everything you know nothing okay just look for people who've gone ahead of you now we are skizzy all right eh uh, usikuwe arrogant we are skizzy kabisa ukimpata hivyo tu mpeleke because your fathers or your mentors will see what <laughs> you will not see all right yeah, so be accountable ni kesho jioni mwanati mkubwa ni kesho jioni saa kumi na moja. yes uh, na that mimi yoyoma mm-hmm. nataka twende tukijua mwenyezi Mungu akiahidi yes. anatenda yes. tukutare mm-hmm. tuifanya live eh, live live okay <laughs>
Mwanati mkubwa tunaenda Facebook Live kifunga kaende kaende mwanati mkubwa anaitwa uh, Kibao uh, Ahadi na Kirsten asante uh, sana kwa mda wako. Asante sana for having me. Kesho tuko pamoja, yeah, sio? Put your hands together for one Kirsten Mbogo. All right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you ready? Let's do this. Gani hilo aloku ahidi wewe 
Kumbuka ni kesho Valley Road. Kesho barabara zote zina kuja sita mvali road inenda kuwa amazing sana mwana timkubwa sina la ziada jameni kuwa na jioni bomba arutu wano fo itakufa zaidi shukra ni za dati kwa kesi nbogo na mme wake bila shaka imetuba imekuwa ya baraka tena sana amane wane wenawe utajuzwa yote mba mipara kujiri kufikia sasa lakini kesho tuko pamoja amane wane wenawe upe FM it's now 4 p.m. Listen and live.